That's the hero of the week. Because I wanted to bring her up. Uh, because she said she was fine for her shit, but the officer she fought, he stayed in and got accused of three more situations. And he got his pension off rip. And she he said he punched for, her in the face yeah, when that was going on. Yeah. She had to fight for 13 years to get her pension because she tried to stop some. It was crazy. Like, wow. This dude slammed some other kids hand on the car. Eventually, he got put in jail, but he kept his pension. I'm like, and what is going on right now with the George Floyd murder? Uh, Gary Chavez. They uh, want to keep going into what kind of drugs was George Floyd or boy, see what kind of drugs Derek Chavez was. <laughs> I say, you know, uh, a white lady made a meme. She said, um, she said, I'm getting tired of people. I'm watching the news and stuff, and the news keep getting his name wrong. Everybody keep mispronouncing Derek Chauvin's name. It's pronounced murderer. <laughs> like, I was like, right, you know what I'm saying? But she, she got a point. But you know it's bad when Pat Robinson, you know, old crazy Pat Robinson. Like, a lot of people think he racist. A lot of people think he Trump. But a lot of people don't understand he just Pat Robinson. He don't know why he's that. He'll say something to lift, lift up your situation. And the next day, he'll say something totally against your situation. He Pat Robinson. He all, so this week, he was he's against the police brutality. He put it on the floor like something else. He put it on the floor about how Derek Chauvin is, is disgusting and how they how the woman mix up the taser. He was talking his mind. I don't know. I, I, but at the same time, I still don't understand how a he's still alive and b why do people still let him talk out loud? I still don't understand that. <laughs> it shouldn't be that much money in the world to keep talking like that. But it is what it is. But uh, See, he, cause he, cause he says crazy shit. He's like really old. He's at that point in his life that he felt like he could say anything. He says really. You really old. think he's seen out? I think he's beyond seen out. I think he's like I. I just seen a video of an old white guy, this woman take because he's he's seen out. He's uh, that she said he's suffering from Alzheimer and dementia. So with that right. being said, he don't remember shit. But apparently, while he was alive, I mean, while he was regular, he was a smart ass. So he always said some smart ass mean shit to her. Like she like. How you doing? How you doing? Go away. She like, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. She like, you hate me? No, I don't hate you. Why you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Well, can you just get out of my face? She like, damn. <laughs> She's like, you love me? He said, I love you not that much, but I love you a little bit. She said, you love me a little bit? Do you love me to the moon? He said, I love you to the moon. She like, you love me to the moon and back? He said, I love you to the moon and back. She said, moon and around again? He said, only once, bitch. <laughs> like he was, he, he, he like he ain't remember what he's saying. He just, this is what he say naturally. So I think Pat Robson is at that level in his life. I remember one time he was saying this, uh, I remember he was speaking on, it's all right to have sex with your cousin. I remember he was speaking on, it was all right to beat your wife. For the, he was reading something from the Bible. Like, it's all right to beat your wife. I remember him speaking on, um, how much he loved Trump. He used to pop up Trump. He's, he, I mean, that's amongst a few. He got like hundreds of things. If you Google it, controversial shit he say. But it's yeah. like when he say shit as a black person, you think like, oh, he with the Klan, he racist, he with Trump. But then he'll say some shit against what Trump and them doing. So you're like, he ain't for nobody. He for Pat Robinson. He feel whatever yeah. he feel. <laughs> and this week he felt like talking about what they doing to black people. He had to let it off his chest. And he like 117. You know, <laughs> still doing the Seven Hundred Club or whatever the show he got. That was a great right. film industry. It's so one of those clubs. That, that, it's one of those that shows. Shit, that begin with you reach old age. No, that's the, no. Pretty much anything. To, to me, to me, that show and that other show when there's be some scary white guys dressed up like monks singing, oh, Lord, hey, oh Jesus. You know, it's like, that's that little show. To me, that was like the sign to change the channel. That was like the mash of the daytime. <laughs> like when you see Pat Robson, you see it's the 700 Club. Or no, it's the Brother Leviticus and group of friends. It's time to change the channel. Right. That's what those shows meant to me coming up. Uh, did I change it to like Channel 7? It was Gummy Bears, you know, because that was always just a weekend shit. Oh, it's right. Kid and Play the Show. Oh, it's Silver Hawks. Oh, it's Mighty right. Max. But as soon as you see 700, oh, it's the 700 Club. Because it's like they would buy the oh, opportunity. It's time to change the channel, it's like they would bite them awkward times because that was like paid program. It'd start off. We have to tell you, this is a paid program, so this channel does not support anything this, this corporation is about to say and out of nowhere. It's the 700 Club, or it's the Great Faith International, or it's the Baptist. Or, you ever had problems picking up your pants? Look at this. We got Sherry here puffing up, and it'd be a whole device and shit. People came up to Sherry. Cher came after Detroit, so Cher needs to um, needs to know how to take it. No, but she just she can't tweet, dish it. She well, take last, it. last week she tweeted out that she always feels like if she was there, she could stop her for a big deal. 
And they went after her like, what the hell are you going to do? Precisely. One time she got mad. She got mad at Detroit one time because she thought that um, she thought that um, we didn't have no water, and she was going hard, like going in on Detroit and everything. And I'm like, who's who's talking to share? Like, when's the last time you been to Detroit, baby? <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you, but at the same time, no, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Right. At least you gonna stand up so because I know what the hell you standing up for. They don't have water, like. No, we're surrounded by water. Trust you, water's not an issue. That's the part that I didn't think she understood. That's where I was, like, confused when she was going hard. And then, old boy, what made it even worse, old boy who played the Incredible Hulk in the MCU Incredible Hulk, um, he was down here protesting. He was down here on Woodward. So he was believing it, too. So he basically just pulled up and somebody told him to water off. and He marched for, like, half a mile. He was taking pictures of everything. He was, yeah, he was with it for three seconds and left. <laughs> you know, that's how it's pissed up. We can have somebody that be trying to do the right thing in the wrong situation. Because I felt bad for Taraji P. Hicks. This happened earlier. It wasn't that long ago. Her son was talking about, you know, it's a race that's going on with him with the campus security. You know, you know why he's that way in college. And that do with him something. Smoke weed. And she got on, like, you know, FaceTime, whatever, of course, on Instagram, whatever, saying, talking about, you know, racial injustice. I, so think, that's, police, I think that's crazy. They how released, people can make they released the entire video. The police officer was trying to give him a break. He lied to his mother about what happened. Uh, I, that's, I, heard, I heard that happened to Taraji P. Henson, too, before. Her son was acting out. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you say her name first with it. Yeah, I heard the exact same thing. Yeah. And that made it worse because she's famous. So she, she, she out here going. And after she did that, then the police released the entire video of what's going on. Like, he trying to give your, your son a break. Uh, well, you know, I'm, you I bet, I'm, I'm sure that happens quite a bit. Well, you can't hurt the type of fool. I'm sure that happens quite a bit, you know what I'm saying, um, because it's kids, and not even famous kids, who feel like because their parents got a little money that they run the world. And it's like, nigga, you ain't the only one, <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying, that, that can do this. Your parents ain't the only one with a car <laughs> <laughs> who own a house. It may be kids that feel like they celebrities off of shit like that. So I could I could imagine, I was telling a, um, a cop, who wasn't a cop, he's a security guard, but I guess he's a cop because he mans... Um, He's one of the leads at uh, Renaissance Center, so they gotta watch the they gotta watch that, which is which is based the GM plant, and attached to that is the hotel. So they gotta watch those two right. facilities at once. So they pretty much policing. And I was telling him like it's crazy. Now I bet you it's fucked up for people like you because now with these situations in the air, it makes people, especially black people, especially Latino people, and now Asian people, <laughs> fear people um, men in uniforms. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like, when, when a lot of y'all are probably there to help people, like ambulance drivers, firefighters, cops, security guards. Right. But shit, we in the point in our head, just like they in the point in their head when they see black men, they all make it, they, they all they automatically got to address them before they address the situation. It's right. like we automatically, when we see a cop or we see somebody in uniform, we kind of feel in our head, oh shit, it's time to go. Because <laughs> right. they on some bullshit. They could just be there getting a coffee like you. But you like to leave with Starbucks because this cop just walked in. Like, uh, you don't even want to be around them. It's, cop, it's people like that. I used to be like that for a long time. Like, if I saw them, I, I keep going. I'm still like that to a degree now. If I see them at a restaurant or store, I just keep driving. I ain't about to be dealing with whatever y'all energy y'all pulling with. Y'all fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Right. LeBron James said that. He's like, just because they woke up on the wrong side of the bed that morning, they want to go kill somebody. <laughs> like, no. But that's what make it um, dangerous and crazy and scary. Yeah. Because they, they, they going through some shit. Their demons is fucking with them. So they want to release this shit onto the world. And there's people right. out here. It's different It's different firemen and policemen and ambulance men and ambulance teachers and and the police instructors and, and generals and lieutenants. Like that bitch who got shot in the neck on January 6th. She was, she was in the Air Force. She was an officer, my nigga. So, I mean, she was, she made yeah. decisions. She was in the, she was, uh, well, she was associated with people who made decisions, who did things and to protect the country. Well, basically, yeah. in her head, 
only a, a section of people should be protected. Because she was out here on, right. this bull, <laughs> on this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like scary to know, yeah. wow, this is who we're surrounded by. Or can you imagine us being a parent in this day and age, your kid is in school, in virtual school? Because there's been a couple of instances sure. they showed on the internet in which the motherfucking um, teachers was caught, a couple of teachers were caught saying some shit about black students. One woman said that, right. one woman, she had to resign. She was a law teacher. She was saying that, um, I hate to say it, but all my black students aren't the worst. You'll see a couple who kind of, who kind of, you know, got potential, but none of them make it. None of them know how to study. All of them got to study. I think this going in on, right. it is, and it's getting to the point that you realize that, bitch, it's not the black kids, it's you. You picking the black kids. You, a couple got potential. So you picking and choosing, yeah. you know. At this point, you know it's like, wow, she admitting this shit though, and she didn't realize her Zoom was off. It was she was talking to the guy on Zoom, but the classroom portion was still open. So when the kids right. taped it, start taping the conversation, like this bitch is like, wow, and she was, she was serious and wild, and she didn't give a fuck about any of it. You know, they started a website a while ago. I think it's called "You Know You're a Racist." So all these people they get caught on camera saying things and doing things. Uh-huh. Like this female, they try to snatch the fourteen year old phone because she do it on hers. And and that's ridiculous. It, out, it was left in the Uber. And that's ridiculous. I I remember that one. Yeah. And she and she should she that's should whole, she should have been locked up. Mm. And I'm surprised the mama didn't square with the bitch. Because where I'm from, I know bitches that square with that bitch. Can you ain't about that's to? Okay. I don't care if my I son. Do, I don't care if my son do got your phone. <laughs> You ain't about to. T- I know people. I know parents who are out here like I don't give a fuck if my son got you. I don't give a fuck. You got pictures of him holding your phone. You better not address him. I know parents that will slap the shit out you the instant you you walk towards <laughs> their kid on some talking to them like they grown. Talking to him at all. I know. Yeah, it's it's a thing. So I'm surprised hey, that mommy didn't put, start. I don't school. condone violence against women for men, but right there he had the perfect uh, reason to punch her dad in the face. In the face. <laughs> But they got, they did they release some video of her from a, a year ago where she was speeding, she was drunk and had a couple of different types of medications in her system and was still talking about to the police while they were trying to arrest her. Her mom, I think, kicked one oh. and she started banging her own head on the ground. But that's not the thing you just said at that point, the point you just made with that, that's not even the, a new, um... That's not even a, a worry anymore in these streets. That's the new norm. Everybody got drugs and, and medications and multiple medications in their systems now. That's what well, about the fact that she was speeding. Yeah, that's the new thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she not already have a record? I shit, I got a cousin right now. I keep I, I, I keep under, don't understand how he keep getting the car. He probably driving a twenty twenty right now. <laughs> and he and every car he get he totals. He never had a license. He should be like going on something. Thank you, thank you for outing him car. right now. He probably fly right now. I'm trying to give me a car right now. I'm trying to save me up a couple of ducats to give me a car. He probably got a 2020 Escal- Escalade right now. I mean, or, or Explorer. My cousin was like that. Oh, he'll get a 2020 Malibu or shit. I mean, you know, um, not Malibu, Impala. Like, he was that type of nigga. But he'd keep a car. He never had a license. Always fuck up a car, get drunk. He was a drunk alcoholic. Now, last time I saw him, he quit. So I'm hoping he mm. keeping these cars now. But he was tearing up right. cars left and right. He was. I was like, "How is he getting cars?" I did. I, I said, "Your face should be in every dealership in Michigan. Like, as soon as you walk in, a red <laughs> light should go off. Like, don't give him a car. <laughs> he, he can't even get a uh, tricycle. He can't even get that shit. He can't even get a, a tricycle. Big wheel. He can't get a, a inner tube. He can't float. He should be able to float down the river with, with the white people. See." We are limited in skates. Now we ain't gonna stop them from getting skates. No. <laughs> you have one. Uh, yes, yeah, one skate. Per, you know, he got a skate. Suspended. If he could survive in that one skate for three months, we give him another skate, and then you know he'll go to work. He'll go to work. He'll get to work. He'll still eat off that skate, nigga. That's the type of family I come from. Right. We eat off that skate. It's just that we don't need, we don't need um, him to have a car. But he keeps getting one. My cousin keep getting them. He was a YBI, so he, he was used to, like, getting cars and money and shit. You know, most of them niggas know how to hustle. Mm-hmm. So he got that mentality. I got them connections and shit. But I still be looking like, how the fuck you keep getting? Like, your name ain't somewhere. Like, the last five cars I watched you destroy. <laughs> I watched you fuck up somehow or lose. Like, he'll get caught drinking. And he'll right. drink as hell and get caught and they'll take his car. He'll get another one. I'll be like, how? 
<laughs> ha. <laughs>